Hi, this is James Parsons Moore, Revit Specialist at Computer Aided Business Systems. And here I'm going to show you a little tip and trick for creating a schedule for the rooms, showing the areas. By default, this is going to show us the areas in metric, uh, meters squared, because that's what my units are set to in my project. But I'm going to show you how to create a calculated value so that you can show it also in imperial as well. So here's my model, and I've got rooms created in here with certain room tags. Now to create a schedule for the rooms, I'm just going to go to my view tab, across to schedules just here, and schedules and quantities. From my list, I've only got architecture picked, so it's going to bring out my architectural categories, and I'm going to choose rooms. I've only got new construction phasing created anyway, so I'm just going to say OK. In my schedule, I'm going to pick, <coughs> excuse me, from these following parameters, I'm going to pick the room numbers, the room names, the level of my project that it's associated to, and also the area. Like I said before, the area is going to be in metric because that's what my units are set to in my project. Once I've done that, I'm going to press OK to create it, and we're going to have a look to see how the information shows. And as you can see, it's in the same order, number, name, level, and area. A couple of things that I like to do. I quite like to split my levels in here, so we have a little gap between them. So what we do for that is go to my properties on the right hand side here where it says sorting and grouping, click on edit. This will bring up my schedule properties and clicking on sorting and grouping here opens us straight up into the sorting and grouping tab. If we'd have clicked on fields it would have brought us into the field tab but I can still flick between each one just here. So to start off with all I'm going to do is go sort by level and this is going to sort them in level order. Now they're already sorted into level order so it's not going to change anything. But what I'm going to do then is say, right, put a header between each level. What this will do, you just put a little gap between it with a little header. If I go back to sort and grouping, what I'm also going to do is create something called grand totals. That will allow me to add at the bottom here a list of totals to whichever elements I choose. In this case, we're going to pick areas. So then I'm going to go to formatting, choose area, and just tick this box that says calculate totals. When I click OK, we'll see what that does. It gives me a total area of all of my rooms all together. Now this will be finish face to finish face of all of my walls. I'm going to click back on sorting and grouping. And for example, if I wanted to create that per floor as well, I can also add a footer. And that's going to add that in as well, giving you a grand total at the bottom. Now on top of that, like I said, I've got area in here and I could just after this write area in metric just there but now I also want to create an area for my um, imperial so if I go back to fields just here we haven't got a, a parameter or available field showing area in imperial so what we're going to do we're going to create one we can simply do this by creating what we call a calculated field now in the calculated field I'm going to give it a name just here area Imperial. I'm going to create a formula based on common disciplines and then create it by, instead of type, number, by area. All I'm going to do now in the formula is say, OK, we want this to equal the exact same as the output for that parameter. OK. And it's just going to create it in there and we press OK. And these are just going to be exactly the same now because, as we said, it's just created it to be an exact mimic of this parameter. Fantastic. Now all we need to do is change the formatting on this so that it shows us in period instead. So again, all we do is come across to my properties and click on formatting. Once I'm on formatting, I'm going to pick area imperial and go to field format. Now instead of use the project settings, I'm going to untick this, meaning we can change the units in here. I'm going to go to square feet to however many decimal places. I'm just going to place one in there. And a little pet, ha pet hate of mine, excuse me, I hate the SF. I'm just going to put it as FT squared afterwards. Once I've done that, I press OK. I'm just going to go back into it as well and just put calculate fields on it, meaning it's going to give us an overall total as well. OK, and there we go. We have it in metric with a conversion straight into imperial, showing the totals of both. Well, thank you very much for listening in. I hope that's going to be helpful to you. Um, catch me again next time for another tip and trick. Thank you. Bye-bye.